I think it's important to know, as a teacher, what the student sees as they register for your Moodle course. This lecture will walk you through all the steps that the student must follow as they register. This should hopefully help you with troubleshooting amidst the process. To start, I'd like to visit the URL for your respective course. Your screen should look similar to mine. Next, I'd like you to click the Login button or link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. The following page should look something like this. It is a little different from the login screen we visited when we originally set up the site. The left hand side of the screen is for returning users. Students will use this once they have registered. The right hand side of the screen is for new students. This is where they will create an account. For students creating an account, they first need to click on the button on the right side of the screen that says Create New Account. The following page will look like this. The students will need to complete all of the fields on this screen as they are all required for registration. I will complete mine for John Smithers, our fictional student. So let's see. Um, Smithers J will be his username. Remember to remind your students that usernames must be all lowercase. He will set up a password. He will enter his email address. Enter it again. First name, last name, city or town, and finally country. Once all of the fields have been completed, the student will click Create My New Account. The following screen will appear. It reads an email should have been sent to your address. It contains easy instructions to complete your registration. If you continue to have difficulty, contact the site administrator. The student will receive an email in their email that looks something like this. They must click on the blue link to confirm their account. they will be redirected to a page that looks like this. It says, thanks John Smithers, your registration has been confirmed. The student has now registered for your Moodle. Now the student will enroll in the respective course or the course that they are assigned. So to begin, the student must click on the, uh, must click on courses in the middle of this page. They will re be redirected to a page that looks like this. The student will then select the course in which they wish to enroll. For our purposes, John Smithers will be enrolling in English 3 period 1. To enroll in this course, click on the name of the course in this menu. The student will be directed to the following screen. They must select Enroll Me. The student has now successfully registered in Moodle and has enrolled in the proper course. They will now be taken to the course page. It looks something like this. Please note that in the Settings panel on the left hand side of the screen, the student has the option to unenroll from the course and view their grades. To log out, the student will select Log Out in the upper right hand corner of the screen. 
As you can see, email-based self-registration is a little more work on the front end, but it sure beats having to manually enter and enroll all of the students in their respective courses. I suggest using email-based self-registration. Remember, the students need three things to register and enroll this way. They need an email address, your site's URL, and the course or course and period in which they wish to enroll. Congratulations, you have registered and enrolled in a course.